strategic level means future chartered accountant strategic language not the accounting language the infinity learning space we will give the best input for that hello and a very warm welcome to learning pod the first ever podcast brought to you by infinity learning space today we are honored to have with us a very special guest who is a professor and former head of department of the marketing management at the university of kalania and he is also the director for the staff development center of the university of kalania as well as an adjunct professor at the taylor's university malaysia and not only that but he is also known to be a multiple award winning researcher having published over 120 research papers both locally and internationally as well ladies and gentlemen we are absolutely honored to have with us professor ravindra disanayake hello sir how are you i'm good thank you very much for the invitation and thank introduction thank you thank you very much for being here we are very honored to have you First of all, we mentioned a lot of titles, and you know, there's a beautiful journey behind all those research papers. We want to know a little bit about the journey from you, if you may. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Ah, uh, first of all, I want to say this. I'm very happy custom of being Infinity Learning Space, and if you looked at all my uh, papers and the titles you mentioned, it came through uh, a very continuous process. and we all like the learning business today including the ca um i got my first education from around eight schools and then got into university of kalni for my first degree um uh, bachelor of business management in marketing and then i earned my masters from post graduate institute of management pim then later i had that foreign exposure to do my first phd at university of taylor's malaysia and then I got another scholarship to do my uh, second doctorate from Montrose campus, Switzerland. That's all my papers, and then happy to serve for my own university of Kalania, and uh, contributing to industry as a consultant for strategy and brand insight. That's Wonderful. Me. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful, and also since you got to or you've had the opportunity to educate the students of people. students from around the world yeah. what are your thoughts on taking on the responsibility for what are your thoughts on taking on the responsibility to conduct lectures for sl4 with the infinity learning space yeah actually i'm a bit of lucky though because uh, this is one of my pet areas of teaching strategy and even the ca course this uh, syllabus was transformed into a uh, real outcome based profile chartered accountant so with that journey i mean students and even the teaching faculty involved for the ca courses they all know about how the subjects are you know framed with the constructively developed pillars and then where this subject do uh, does come under one pillar and the out of the four spaces the business level to space and the corporate level and the strategy level so this subject will come as a pack of almost all the subjects so that's the that's the beauty of this subject and i think uh, especially i normally use the word called learning partners not the students especially when it come to the higher education including professional courses um it been a passion of teaching this subject because this subject is like storytelling and very much related to your daily life and your corporate life too so then the subject is more than theory it has direct applications to our day to day business environment so i think as we a tutors we should deliver this subject as an integrated space not like theory based only where we have to create a certain uh, you know hypothetical environment even during offline online classes we are students to feel like how the subject the topics and the models and theories will connect to their daily work life so that's the beauty of this subject i think more than the qualification if you really get qualified the ca course including the high flying colors of this subject there you are this subject will add value to your professional values more than the paper qualification maybe you end up with one day entrepreneur 
maybe you end up with not only you know accounting field maybe there's a place where all the accountants will cross the line of general management position there you need to talk about the 360 degree language not one functional language this subject will provide the base for that corporate thinking integrated thinking and holistic thinking because finally if i connect to this immediate course the chartered accountant should not provide answers for questions in a company. They should provide solution for stakeholders. That solution making process will be blessed by absolutely subject like this. So please enjoy the subject. <laughs> I'm sure they will as well. And since you mentioned about how it how this subject could be applied in real life as well, there are a lot of lecturers that apply philosophy and all a specific teaching method is there such a method that you use as well definitely because uh, teaching it has uh, teaching strategy where the teaching strategy specifically um, online teaching strategy as well every topic the model or the theory has this application avenues so normally when we teach subject like that because this is at the top or the pinnacles of our subject elevations. So we need to feed that subject first telling a real life story. I don't know, this is what I do follow, including my university teaching too. Every topic has a real life story. First we connect the story of this. For example, you see um, finance market, finance service market, the competition story. So first you Disseminate the storytelling and they are student hang on with the story, you know, they love stories or the theories. Then you slowly inject what the base theory is for that. So strategic management and the leadership, you get all these avenues to connect our teaching strategy with the storytelling strategy. So that's the best way then people can absorb rather stuck in the books. They will first do expedition to real life story and then they will easily connect how that of theory will join to the journey. So then students end of the day when they go to exam me when they are going with the back story and that's their rest of the duty how you connect and write it. That's true and also speaking about stories and storytelling since Infinity Learning Space is an online platform how do you suggest or how would you recommend that students take on this challenge of developing the critical thinking and problem solving skills on such an online platform? Yeah, it all depends on the learning strategy too. Now, we all talk about teaching strategy. Why not exactly. their side? I'm, I'm a hardcore marketing background. Our students are our customers. So, customers should know about the brand. Customers should know about what the need they have to consume our product. So, they should have early preparation too. So, let's see they are going to uh, study one uh, the video clip on strategic environment analysis. So at least you know just go through some you know bit uh, and pieces of the study guide what it has and then uh, looked at a couple of past papers and see how the trend happened and then they come to you know enjoy our comprehensive redundant programs to come further. So they become informed learning partners without being informed learning partners especially online because online is whatever said it's a one-way communication not two-way communication we can't see the body language of people though so they have to come with that pre-prepare preparation of their mindset knowing why they listen to this video or broadcasting or podcasting whatever you name it then the right absorption will take they also have a responsibility to do that. Otherwise, you may go through three, four rounds of listening, but it really kills your time. And you being an accountant, you must think about the efficiency first, right? Your early preparation will make your life easier, beautiful, and well connected to our learning materials. Yes, and speaking about the learning materials, if you talk about the subject as yeah. well, it's very relevant because there's a lot of strategy involved. Uh, it's very relevant to the current business life as well. How important do you think this subject is 
in the current business life for startups, for small and uh, medium en enterprises? How important is this subject? Yeah, let me connect your, your question to this way. Even that's the nature of the subject assessment. You get, you know, mainly question one, question two, that accounts for the 50, and then you get pre-seen case study, and finally you are handling the case study for the 50 marks. Remember the case study. Case study means a real life story. You get into nicely done document. There's a story, and then you have to read the story, get a couple of predictions of the questions, and get prepared yourself and come for the exam. Case study is always a life is a is a living story always so then you have to have you know your radar system even the, including all the lecturers would give different hints and kind of predictions about the at least the case studies industry even students you can go through a couple of previous papers and see industry looks like that you know maybe fast moving consumer goods maybe a service company maybe agriculture based business SME transformed to another level. So these things really give you a picture about the strategy subject is very alive, connects to daily life. And then if you read the pre in case study, you can understand probably it might talk about a SME sector startup and then slowly grow into another level and then giving some hint what would be the next. So strategy subject no matter how big or small the company is, strategic thinking, strategy formulation, strategy execution, strategy controls, these are common for any, any organization in this world. So then uh, the learning partners, uh, uh, you know, preparation is learn strategy, the major modules and the theories and the frameworks, and then apply into the contest. The contest is the key. So when you read the case study, I'm mainly talking about the case study part of it. You have to understand how this theory, like maybe leadership theory, that the case study talks about three, four characters. When you read what the characters did in the company, you can easily connect how that would connect to the leadership theory A or theory B. This is how you need to digest this subject. And, and uh, one more thing, don't worry, the infinity learning space, we will give the best input for that. Okay, wonderful. We're definitely looking forward to that yeah. as well. And also speaking about the, you know, speaking about the syllabus as per se, uh, there are also assessments that are involved in SFO. Could you also tell us a little bit about the structure of the assessments hmm. uh, in SFO? Yeah, because uh, it's not exactly say this is the method to do, but you can see the paper structure, how it comes, you know, the two questions. And then that account for 25, 25, 50, and the case study come for 50 marks. Now, assessment, one of the areas where students do mistake is if you looked at the business study subject, there are a lot of books. And even, even as we teachers, we, we just come and teach or record the normal topics what we do. No. You need to acclimate into this course. This course has study guide. Oh, we have different names for that. Big book though. It has nicely explained strategic management topic wise, theories, models, explanations, and uh, mini cases. So first thing what students should do for assessment readiness, read them. You might think strategic management, okay, we have learned from the degree, learned from that course or did course. No, yes. But it has some specific nature of this course. The CA course, there are some specific areas you need to be well alert before the examination. Please refer the study guide. Number one principle. Second thing, where students do mistake is they do not properly read the action work specifically for the case study question. So when the question comes, demonstrate something else, explain something else, discuss something else, critically evaluate something else. So best thing, please read that accent verbs and then read your past papers and see how that question have come in kind of a certain pattern, whether environment analysis has been asked like critically assess or evaluate or explain. 
So you should know what do you mean by explain, what is to be written and how to craft the answer. So these are the assessment strategies where students should think. And uh, don't worry about, you know, I myself and the team from this infinity learning space, we will uh, do the best way of doing, you know, so you will really understand how you need to manage this assessment properly. That's the preparation. Okay, and also since you're since you're talking about preparation, are there also certain skills that students need to develop within themselves, which can also help? I'm assuming in the CA profile as well. Yeah. Uh, are there certain skills that they could develop for themselves before they sit for this exam? Definitely, I think I can connect your question into two areas. You know, for the exam purpose and the living purpose too. After that, <laughs> once you get the title, title would be very heavy for you if you don't perform accordingly. Specifically, if you look at uh, the what you call the soft skills side of this, and we have developed almost all the course units with some assessment contents, knowledge, skills, attitudes, even the mindset preparation. So based on that, we ask the questions, right? In the question, you have to be very alert on the way how the action were being asked. So then students should improve the first skill of understand the question. That's the number one. Without understanding the question, what you write and what you expect. Remember in the examination, your customer is your examiner. You must delight the customer. Once we read, you know, 50, 100, 100 plus papers, if you see one paper comes with a differentiation point, we all are human beings, right? And we have given what you call a framed answer for that. Still, examiners are having that freedom. That's a common thing, not only for this one, to provide marks for logical explanations. So, case study specifically, students should do number two, storytelling and communication skills. Right? You are not writing answers. You write, you explain, connected to the context being searched or asked. This is where you need to improve your explanation or communication skill. Number three, you need to have skill of synthesizing. First, look at how many marks will be given for that question. So when the question is being given for 10 marks, you know, general sense, you should understand 10 marks, how big that it is, 12 marks, how big that it is. Then you narrate your answer accordingly, synthesization of uh, your answer based on the way how the answer being asked and connecting to the case inputs. Sometimes you write and then this is not, uh, you know, open book, closed book, but you get the pre -scene. When you write answers, our examiner should feel you are writing the answer connecting to the case study insights. You must live with that. You must live in as that of the character. Let's say there is a character called CFO. So when the question asks something connected to as assuming the CFO, you write the CFO language, right? To make decision for the future expansion of the business. As CFO, you write the answer where someone to make a decision whether I should diversify the business or hold on it or maybe go for another investment portfolio. So you have to act as the character. These are the skill side of chartered account. Otherwise, you end up the typical accountant. Typical accountants cannot add value to organization. Right? I always tell why this uh, syllabus even we have prepared two business level, strategic, uh, corporate level and strategic level. Strategic level means future chartered accountant should speak strategic language, not the accounting language. They be credit good, the technicality. But your mindset should be beyond the normal line. That's how this beautiful course has been designed. And this is what students should improve within themselves. So then there you are, you become a character amongst the chartered accountants. And I believe the storytelling would also, the stories that would come from the course would also help them develop this skill, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And also speaking about the skills that they develop, there are also people that, although they know the content, 
Sometimes the pass rate is not too high. <laughs> it's actually rather low. So is there something that, you know, sometimes they have the skill or they know what content to uh, study, write as such. But what are they doing wrong in your opinion? I think I have already told one main area. They do not understand the question being asked. Please read, understand the action verb of the question. I'm, I'm talking about this subject. Second, you know, 50 marks is a huge load. Second, as I told you, you write the answer as even that character is in you. Because precinct case study will tell you a good story and this, this it, it has content to get ready. And when the question asks, please read the question. Our questions will give some hints. What is your role in this regard? So you should not write a generic answer. You need to write customized answer for the character being emphasized. And the other thing is, it's not only language. Remember, I, I never believe language as a skill. Communication is a skill. So even this classroom, we can't teach you how to communicate. That's your practice. Please do practice. Nothing is perfect, right? More you practice, more you get, you know, the natural flow of communication. If you're going to do the first time writing answer and the examination, come on, you are too late for that. At least do one or two write-ups and see whether whether I have done the just before that. You can check with your uh, previous uh, examination papers and the model answers and see how far your answer and the model answer are deviated. Don't worry about it. We don't expect you to exactly write the same template because it's a descriptive subject. But the key points, you need to look at. Whether I have touched that key point. When the questioners discuss, did I exactly present my answer with the discuss format? Let me check with the model answer. And you can see the deviation. Remember, sometimes you might feel, okay, my answer is like, 70% done, 30% divided. It's not a simple matter. I mean, you just leave it off. 30%, that's fine. Remember, second question, another 20% leave. Third question, another 10% deviates. You can see the aggregation, right? So you can predict what would result. Practicing is a must because this is a kind of a challenging subject, but uh, not a traditionally measured subject. You can have your creativity, you can have your skill side to get some, you know, uh, get some competitive edge over the other candidate of the exam. So enjoy this paper. Okay. And speaking about enjoying the paper, I know, I personally know a lot of people who are actually a bit worried or a bit scared to sit for the paper. So they leave it for later mm -hmm. um, and they sit for all the other papers. but. They leave this for later. What is your advice for people that do so? I don't know uh, how to read their minds, but I, I, I'm in a doubt why they feel so. Right? If you have done this uh, two, I mean, basic levels and you have done the subject of corporate level, you have the base, right? So, case study subject or business strategy subject, business strategy and leadership subject. Uh, has a lot of connection to previous subjects as well, right? And uh, if you look at the practicality, uh, you are not doing only chartered accounting. Maybe some other courses you have done, maybe you are coming from another business management degree background or not. There are things in your brain and uh, some, most of the, these things are connected to the subject as well. So naturally, at least 20 30 percent of the contents are in your head you need to have now specific at attempt for that because this is a subject that comes with a lot of integration and the 70 percent of the rest where you can get yourself prepared others you know other bit and pieces anyway connect to your life your previous courses something in your mind you know your early preparation is naturally done I don't know why this fear comes to our students, you know, this subject where you can think uh, freely, no too much of technicalities. Um, preparations 
Pase, rather you prepare yourself for entire, I mean, the study book, so study guide. If you looked at very shrewdly, very rationally, you can you can see a couple of papers, last two, three years papers, prepare nice analysis, mind mapping. You can see like uh, how many times the business environment, how many times the generic strategies of organization being asked. What are the keywords being put over the action verbs? Okay, generic strategies, action verb is develop or maybe uh, recommend. Okay, then there is a trend of recommending the strategy. So then you can have a preparation for it. I think 20 to 30 percent of uh, additional marks you can defend with your early preparation. That's your personal strategy though. So I'm still doubt I should do a research why the students are really, you know, <laughs> really afraid of this subject. No. Maybe, maybe this is my open comment for this accounting professionals too. You are too much talking of functions. No, there's a beautiful world beyond that. This subject is totally hardcore accounting, hardcore auditing or taxation. It's, it has a lot of practical connectivity. You have to think as a marketer, think as a HR person, think as entrepreneur, think as an accountant, so all together. So nice mix is there. So enjoy the salad. Rather do the same thing again and again, right? You know, uh, please uh, get rid of that traditional mindset and don't ask uh, from the people who, who is already scared for that. And you ask from yourself and believe me, Believe some other people and take the simple challenge and do it. Well, we love it. Thank <laughs> you so much, Professor, for such an interesting and insightful discussion. We are very honored to have you here with us this, this morning, today, and also with Infinity Learning Space. Yeah. Thank you so much once again. Okay, thank you very much. I am looking forward to contribute more to this subject. Well, we're definitely looking forward to seeing you and hearing from you in the future as well. That's it from us, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned with Infinity Learning Space for more content with The Learning Pod. Done. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope that was okay. <laughs>